everyone, Brad here, back again to film another LEGO video. This time I'm going to be sharing my opinions on the sets in the LEGO Shop at Home January 2019 catalog. As you can see, there are over 100 new LEGO sets. And this is a new, speaking of new, this is a new type of video for me. I've never done a type of video like this before. Most of the time I do toy reviews, LEGO reviews is my main thing. Sometimes Minecraft videos, but I just figured I need more videos and I don't really have more LEGO sets to review. You can kind of see the Coyage Match set that I've already reviewed, Aragog's Lair, and Mockwood Estate that need to be reviewed. But this set I will, well not set, this catalog I will be looking at today. So as you can see, Lego Movie 2, right off the bat, right here we got Emmett's Fry Cycle. It's a bit of an interesting set. For 50, 174 pieces for $15 is not that bad, honestly. It's just um kind of, it doesn't really seem like there's 174 pieces. I say most of those bricks, pieces, go into uh, the Duplo build right there. We got Sweet Mayhem, Sis, what's it called? Yeah, Sweet Mayhem, Sistar, Starship. Which is a very interesting set. It's a bit overpriced. 502 pieces for $70 is a bit overpriced, but it's okay though. I do like how we're getting Sweet Mayhem and then Emmett and Lucy all in that one set. And the sticker roll, which they have announced they will be selling more sticker rolls on Lego Shop at Home. Nitty Kitty Sweetest Friends Ever is an amazing set. I really want that set. Uh, Ultra. Ultra Caddy. Okay, I was like, what's that? Ultra Caddy. Ultra Caddy and Warrior Lucy is an interesting set. That's got, um... Ultra Caddy is obviously the main build, and there's something a little bit interesting. You can combine Ultra Caddy with Emmett and Lucy's Escape Buggy set. <laughs> which you may remember from the trailer, where he Emmett's turning on the turn signal. I wonder, you can't really see... I don't really... You can't really see the back from this angle, so I'm wondering, is that right there... Supposed to be the turn signal. I do not know, but that is very cool. We have Captain Metal Beard absolutely getting obliterated by the heart missile thing. We have uh, Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop at Junior's set. It's an interesting set. It's a cheap set, and it's got both Emmett and Benny in it. That is very nice. Oops, I just covered my camera up with my finger. Now the pop-up party bus is a very weird set. We've got some interesting things. Unikitty as Disco Kitty. Zeb or Zeb, I don't know. Melody and Tempo. Tempo's got a nice hair piece, though. It's a weird set, but it's got a very great price, as you can see. Oops, getting a little bit too close there. Focus. 1,024 pieces for $80. That is a very, very good price. Oh, look, more Lego Movie 2. Rexus Rex Stream Off Roader is the only free in one set other than the poly bags so far. The rebuilds are kind of just whack. I mean, you have 236 pieces. You could have done something better than just a modified Velociraptor. And this one I like, but that one I do not like. Metal Weird's Heavy Metal Motor Trick. A lot of people are uh, not liking this set. I like it. Like, why don't you guys like this? This is this looks cool. Okay, that's just my own opinion. You guys can have your own opinions on any of these sets. You guys might hate every LEGO Movie 2 set. I don't care. These are my opinions. Emmett's Dream House slash Rescue Rocket is very amazing. This Dream House kind of reminds me of, like, the classic townhouses that they used to have in, like, old Lego sets. Of course, I wasn't alive then, but I've seen them. We got Unikitty sitting down over there, and Emmett and Lucy. And then, it also includes Rex Danger Vest, but that has to do with that rebuild over there, which you can't really see very well. I'm also wondering, what is this? I'm having trouble finding out what that is, but... Okay, then we get down here, we have how I almost missed it. Battle Ready Batman and Metal Beard. A very wonk set, but it's a $20 set, and you got this Batman with this very cool new shoulder pad piece. And the Metal Beard Crab Mac is a bit weird, but... Uh, that Maddox? Maddox, I think. Maddox, I think is his name. You get the star piece in the cheap set, that's nice, but... Batman's got, like, this weird throne build that says, You're Welcome on it. I've seen the word, I've seen, like, the You're Welcome sign in the trailers, though. So I don't really know what that has to do with anything. Introducing Queen Whatever I Want Not Be is a very spoiler set. Because if you look at the back of it in stores, because I've seen this set in Walmart. If you look at the back of it, it shows Queen Mayhem's face. So do not look at the back of that if you do not want a spoiler. Rex's Rex Explorer is the second biggest and the second best Lego Movie 2 set. I really, really like this set. You got two of the blue space Velociraptors, which is very good. 
Emmett, and Rex. And it's just a very cool set that I really like. I do not see Welcome to Apocalypse Burger in here, though. Uh, Classic is a bit... That's eh, a bit strange. Oh, look, City! Yay! But all the City... Let me real quickly give my, my rant on the City sets this time. They're all really, really overpriced. I mean, really overpriced, because... Let's go and start with this one, though, the Sky Police Jet Patrol. $10 for 54 pieces. It's a junior set. I can understand that, but... Sky Police Drone Chase. 192 pieces for $30. No. That is too expensive. And I thought, once I heard Sky Police said, ah, it's just going to be Legos' way of making more helicopters. Only one helicopter. What? I'm surprised that that's not a giant helicopter. Instead of that plane. This is an amazing set, though. I want at least one of these two sets because they got the parachute in it, and I really want to play around the parachute. This set is cool because I like I like the truck build and I like this build. Also, why why does he have a jetpack? I thought Lego City was supposed to be real stuff, so why are there drones and jetpacks all of a sudden and that kind of stuff? Fire, we're back on the free year rotation of fire. It's, this is a junior set. Burger Bar Fire Rescue, amazing set. I really, really, really want this set. Cause it, uh, it's like, um, the classic burger says that they used to have, and then the fire station, I wish I had two garages, but it's only got one vehicle, so it really only needs one garage. Okay, this set is really overpriced. Fire plane, don't know if you guys can see it, but 360 free pieces, $60. Hmm. Hmm. No, absolutely not. I am not paying $60 for that plane. No. Downtown Fire Brigade is the best Lego City set this world. I really want that. That's all I need to say. Star Wars here. Not the largest Lego set ever. Why? Team Ultimate Battle is the largest Lego set ever. This set has... I can't see it. 7,541 pieces. Team Ultimate Battle has 10,050. No, 10,005. Spoke. Why Wing is cool. Cloud City is cool. It's just why isn't it a, a UCS set? <clears throat> okay, now we're getting into normal Star Wars. Nabu Starfighter and Sif Infiltrator Microfighters are nice microfighters. I like to see getting a little Annie and a Darth Maul and cheap sets. I'm glad to see microfighters continuing for now series six. They've been around for about five years now, almost. So I really like to see them continue. I think they're really good. The TIE Fighter Attack set, uh, what are they thinking? This is the worst TIE Fighter ever. What are they thinking? Star Wars Juniors, like, I like the idea of introducing Star Wars to younger kids for junior sets. It's just, why? Why? Really, the only, the only, probably the best thing here is the fact that we're getting a Yavin for, uh, what's his name? Uh, Yavin for Trooper. You can kind of see the train track. That's spoiling what's going to be on this table. No. Oops. Yeah. You have a Ford Trooper in a cheap set. And then we have the Death Star Escape set, which is very cool. That's what the, these display sets do, is recreate iconic sets. Like, iconic scenes from the movies. I have the Naboo Duel set. I have the Naboo Duel set in my, um, over there on that shelf. But, oh my gosh, the snow is starting to build up. Yay! It's snowing where I live right now. Yay, the snow is starting to build up. Woo! Yay! Woohoo! Snow! Yay! I love snow. This is intriguing me. The Lego Movie World assembling Spring 2019 exclusively at Lego Florida Resort. Ha ha! Take that, California. You ain't getting no new land. Boo! Oh, California's getting this new hotel. Kids go free. That's very nice. Alright, so before I get on to my rant about these, let's talk about these first. The Dewback is adorable. Really like it. Sand Trooper is a good minifigure. What's going on over here? Okay, so that's what I have to say about this. Now, let me get into my rant about this. This is the third remake of both of these sets. Now, why do they keep remaking these sets? I don't know. This one, I have not seen the 2014 version of this in a long time, so I can't really say anything about this one being the same. This is the absolute exact same version as the 2014. It is the exact same. The exact same. Nothing different. The only, the, probably the only good things about these is the fact 
the, that we get these Kashyyyk battle droids, which are very cool. Finally, like, actually, like, detailing on the droids. Before, we'd always get, like, a, it's like a little bit of yellow on it to signify that it's a commander, or red for a security, or blue for a pilot. But finally, like, actual detailing. I don't know about the accuracy of those Kashyyyk battle droids, though. Uh, Batman. Not DC, just Batman. Um, Batman, the Batmech versus Poison Ivy mech. First, I'd like to say that's not a mech, and I've heard this build is very flimsy and things keep falling off. So, I'm questioning that. The mech looks very cool, although it does look like a Nexo Nice mech. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad mech, but I'm just saying it looks more like a Nexo Nice mech. Finally, the Flash has got his boots printed, and Firefly is interesting. And also, you see Firefly's helmet? Focus. Why couldn't we have used, gotten that piece on Wasp? Why not? That would have been so much better for Wasp. Uh, Batman bats up in the underwater clash is a very good is a well it's a, it's a it's okay set it's a summary it's okay I mean they just like that minifigure right there this is an amazing the app control Batmobile I do not own it but I know you may say it's overpriced one hundred dollars three hundred twenty one pieces it's motorized okay um up here Spider Man versus Venom though that's not a new set but okay. I thought this was a Spider-Verse set at first when I first saw like this wave of Marvel sets. I thought they were Spider-Verse sets, but no, they're not Spider-Verse. The Spider-Mech is okay. The Venom-Mech is absolutely amazing. I really, really like the Venom-Mech. It looks like they're on like an oil rig. We also get Spider-Gwen. I have no clue why Aunt May is on an oil rig. That makes no sense because I'm just seeing that utter oil rig and then just seeing that and thinking oil rig. So I don't know. $50 for 604 pieces is a very good price though. Captain Marvel and the Scroll Attack. Is probably the only Captain Marvel set we're gonna get. This is a this is supposed to be a Quinjet, is what I'm hearing. Don't know how accurate this. I just wish people had leg frame because Captain Marvel could use leg frame. The cat, the cat. I've seen the trailer. The cat's in the trailer. I saw the trailer at a on a football game. Like you know how like every time they have that. So I don't understand the cat, but I'm not even gonna talk about that. It's just good to get Green Goblin and cheap set. Ninjago. All right. So pretty much all the Ninjago sets this wave. Except for these two are poop. Well, they're not all poop. They're poop compared to these two. But they're good sets. But when compared to these two, these are all better. These are all worse. I mean, this, I'm like a C Spin Jitsu attorney, but Monastery Training is the exact same thing as Spin Jitsu Training from the Lego Ninjago movie. It's the exact same thing. You have the Golden Dragon. That's a nice remake. I like the Overlord minifigure. This is a very good set. I really, really like that set. J Stormfighter. I don't really have an opinion about that. Now, let's move on to Cole's Earth Driller. Major, 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 major improvement over the last one. The last one was trash. This is amazing. Amazing. Especially the big big. Amazing. That's all I'm going to say. Now, Monastery of Spinjitsu. I got a question. How come this air, this first appeared in Ninjago in 2012, but we, it takes us seven more years to get a set? Come on, like, when I was watching that show, when it first came out, I was like, just, where is the monastery? Where? Finally, we're getting it, and it's amazing, and a very good buy. 1,070 piece, 1, pieces for $80. Better buy than the party pop-up party bus set. Morning Jaga. What did they do to the Samurai X mech? This is amazing. I'm really glad they went with brick-built heads. Because on uh, the Golden Dragon, it's a molded head. I'm really glad they went with brick-built heads on this one. Ninjago City Docks up. Creator! Yay, Creator be the last thing we look at because I'm running out of time in this video. Actually, you know what? I'll start on the next video. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.